Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the We welcome you inside Bridgestone Arena into the final game of this road trip for the Buffalo Sabres. This is the 17th all-time meeting between Buffalo and Nashville, and Buffalo is a record of 7-7-2. Seven, seven, and two. Our starting goaltenders are brought to you by Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop. Great tasting food, amazing prices, and Matt Hackett gets the nod seemingly right now as the number one given the Sabres goaltending situation, and he has earned it. His third start with Buffalo, his first ever game played against the Predators. Carter Hutton, 28 years of age, his 38th career game played in the NHL tonight. He has played one against Buffalo, and he was victorious in that game. He's not played the last two. He did win his last start against Calgary. This broadcast is brought to you in HD by the new Stereo Advantage. Visit the new Stereo Advantage located on Worley Drive behind ECC North. Dan Dunleavy, Rob Ray upstairs. Glad you could join us for this night. And the Buffalo Sabres in the road. Whites will skate from right to left on the attack, and right now it's hacking in behind the Buffalo goal. Playing it into the near corner. And the first touch of the night for Christian Erhoff, the Sabres veteran defenseman, trying to play it up the boards. Instead of the face-off circle where Ennis has it go off his stick, and the Predators now will start it back. Predators starting with the likes of Jan Krok Smith and Gabriel Bork. Callie Yarncroke is one of the newer faces that we'll keep an eye on tonight as Tyler Ennis carries in over the Nashville line. On the left wing side, he'll leave it. Stafford centers it in front, bouncing pucks down to the net. Now Ennis in the far post. Bottom of the faceoff circle, right side. He's knocked to the ice by Ryan Ellis. And in behind the goal for Matthias Eckholm now. Sabres will change it up. Predators keeping form as they bring it up to their own blue line in the center. Eckholm now slides left wing and he'll shoot it in. Back it. One touch on it, leaves it to the side of the net. Now D'Agostini has a bounce back to him near a circle. And Matt D'Agostini will start Buffalo out with a pass on the right wing. Delorier, bank pass and a chase into the national zone. Predators wearing the mustard yellow or gold jerseys. Take your pick how you want to describe the color. And the puck play down the right wing side too far. Ellis did not get a touch, and we get a whistle on the play. Well, early in this hockey game, Ted Nolan has talked for the last couple days. He needs traffic in front. Guys going. And right off the hop, the first time the Stafford Ennis Felino line is on the ice, they get a good rush. Watch 82. Takes nothing but just goes straight to the net, gets his big body there, gets himself positioned. And the puck eventually comes through. They don't get an opportunity, but that's what you got to do each and every night. You got to drive through, plant yourself there, and make it as difficult as possible on the goaltender. Flint line out against Fisher's line for Nashville now, and the Sabres will fire it in to Leander. Puck comes back out in front off the backboards, and Larson backhanded pass into the slot. Nobody there for the Sabres to get a stick on it. Fisher, Hornquist, and Matt Cullen for the National Predators, Nick Spalling out there right now. Number 13 on the right wing, as a matter of fact. And the Sabres in behind their own net. Pass now on the left wing side. It's Conacher and sends it cross ice into the Nashville zone. Sabres changing it up, so only one man in on the chase this time. And that's Brian Flynn. Matt Ellis comes over the boards, and the Predators will hold it up behind their own net. Just underway, first period. Long pass up through the middle. Tipped by Victor Stahlberg into the Buffalo zone. Hack it behind the net, will leave it. Rasmus Ristolainen, and then pass up through center ice. Ellis didn't get enough of that one, man. It's an icing call coming up 
against the Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, Colin Wilson's right on the back of Matt Ellis coming up through the middle. One more stride, you would have that line. I think Matt was just trying to soft chip this puck into the corner because he had three guys coming up with him. But just a little too hard into the corner for the icing. Face off to the left of Hackett. Sissons wins the draw back to the point. It's high off the glass. Erhoff takes a look, plays it up the boards. Left wing side, John Scott tips it out towards center. And Nashville back into their own end. Shea Weber with a buck now on his stick. Working on the back end along with Roman Yossi, 23-year-old. Weber and Yossi trying to orchestrate their way out of their own zone. They'll try it again. Billy Leno first man deep for Buffalo, the four check. Sissons now trying to backhand it across the Buffalo line. That's cut off. And now Weber will make his way in over the line. Right wing boards. So the pass down into the right wing corner. Far side too far for Eric Nystrom to get a piece of. And the Sabres send it back into the Nashville zone. They give it right back to Buffalo ahead of the Sabres blue line. Taken by Erhoff. In across the Nashville line now as it's Drew Stafford spinning it to the near corner. Puck comes off the boards. Over to pick it up Marcus Foligno. Backhand pass into the slot. Here comes the shot and that deflects Jamie McBain. Over in the circle to the left of the night starting goal hitter Carter Hunt. Well, nice heads up play once again by Felino getting this puck coming up the wall after a nice dump. Able to gain control of this puck. And to find Jamie McBain right here stepping in from the backside. Nice backhand pass. Jamie takes a step to the right to try to free himself up so he's able to take the shot. There, just one stride and he's able to get the shot through to the net. Sabres win the draw. Keep it in at the line for a moment, but then it's bobbled out to center ice. And all the way back to Mike Weber. In the Sabres zone. And it's now at center. He'll lift it in, try to give chase. A little bit of interference, but legal in the eyes of the referee. That allows Nashville to get to the puck first. They can't clear. Ennis now on the near boards, left wing side, down to the corner. Polito can't trap the puck. Picked up by Jan Krook. Far side. Comes back to the near board, still in the Nashville zone, Weber at the point. Puck settles in behind the net, keeps rolling now to the right wing side for the Sabres, still deep in the zone, underneath the goal line in Predators territory, against the boards. Yes, far corner, Foligno comes to meet him, he's taken out by Weber. Puck is to the line, but kept in by McBain, nice play, Ennis now up high in the zone. Plays it down on the left wing corner. Stafford got a piece of it. Ennis following up on the play. Has it his jersey. It drops to Stafford. Now for Ennis over at the far post. From the corner. Centers in front. Looking for Felino, And that went between his legs. Now Weber from the point. Bank pass off the inboards. Looking for Felino in front. And that settles in the far corner. McBain all the way down from the point to keep it in the Nashville zone. 15 minutes and 30 seconds to go on a scoreless first. Nice zone time by Buffalo here. Still in Nashville territory. Over on the right wing side. Stafford for Ennis curling out of the corner. Tipped off his stick. Kept into the point. And a shot and a pad save by Hutton. We invite you to stay tuned for the Karuba Collision coming up later in this game. Go to Sabres.com to vote on the Karuba Collision of the Year. And you have a chance to win yourself season tickets for next season. Yeah, I think Carter Hutton just tried to deflect that puck up over the glass so he get his team a chance to change the Sabres line of Felino, Stafford, and Ennis. They had great zone time. They're rotating that puck. Tremendous, they were falling, they had good support all over the ice. Did a nice job getting the D involved. This is what they have to do. Wear them down in their own zone here. At home is where they have trouble, and that's where you gotta jump on them. Predators trying to play to hand the Fisher in the Buffalo zone, taking away and Cody Hodgson right in front of his own net. Over the far corner now, big pass off the boards, and Delorier neatly tips it to center. Fired right back in by Matthias Eckholm and in behind the Buffalo goal. Left there and taken dial by Talinder. Evades one for checker and makes his way to the Buffalo blue line. Rink wide pass, right side. Delorier in across the line, down to the faceoff dot. Puck comes to the front of the net and it's cleared by Fisher. Now Cullen will play it up ice and he finds a recipient in the Buffalo zone but it's tipped away from Hornfist at the last minute. And Nashville sent back into their own zone. Both teams making changes as the Predators retreat deep in their own end. Ryan Ellis, Hamilton, Ontario native, makes his way to the blue line, right wing side, and fires it in to the center zone. Here's the line back after it. Watch here by Colin Wilson. Larson lays it up the boards, right wing side, and Conacher has it now, racing down the right wing into the Nashville zone and behind the net where it's knocked off his stick by Michael Delzato, the former New York Ranger. Play along the near boards. Delzato knocks down Larson, who pops back up. Play still 
on the boards. Now it comes to the faceoff dot in the Nashville zone. And it's brought down up the right wing side into Buffalo territory. And Erhoff with a good hit as he gets in the way of the Predators. Now the puck comes out in front. And Victor Stahlberg, who just took that hit, found his way to the slot. But couldn't settle the bouncing puck and get the shot away. And Nashville sent packing back into their own end. Buffalo will make a change. So far, just one shot credited in this game, and it's to the Sabres. Here's Nystrom coming down the right side with his shot that goes wide. Backhand, Hackinson, rebound, and score. Colton Sissons gets a second chance, and the rebound beats Matt Hackett. Well, Sissons going to put this puck. It looks in behind. Matt Hackett on the play, but it's just a simple dump in here. And they're able to gain control, but he missed shot right there. But a nice play in front. And the rebound is going to come right back out to him. You're going to see the man in front, Kloon, take the initial shot. Rebound comes right back to Sissons, and he's going to be able to get that puck behind Matt Hackett. Nobody covering the man coming into the front. Defenseman. McBain standing in front, takes the initial man, but nobody picking up the guy falling to the net. And that's the first for Sissons, who came in with just two assists. And a tough one for the Sabres, who had a ton of zone time, but could not make it count. The Predators do on their first shot of the night. Ford dealers of Western New York replay, brought to you by the Ford F-150 with EcoBoost, built for tough. Well, something the Sabres cannot do here, and they got to pay a little bigger price. Conacher's going to work his way down the wall here. You see the other two forwards? Larson, Flynn, 22 and 65, just coasting up the ice. You got one man on the puck. You got to get up the ice. You got to get into that zone, and you got to get him a little support. When you just coast up the ice like that, it's not doing any good. It's not breaking anybody up. And right here's the penalty. Henrik Talinder behind the net. He's going to reach out, and he's going to end up getting a hooking call. Here along the wall, he's just reaching out. At no point did he really hook him, but that's the call that was made on the ice. So Colton Sissons, his first goal in the National Hockey League, the only marker so far, 12.56 to go in this first period. Special teams, of course, Sabres have been pretty good on the penalty kill so far, and this Buffalo Sabres penalty kill is brought to you by Napa. Napa has the know-how. The Sabres have given up two power play goals over the last five games or 17 times shorthanded. And Nashville has one power play goal rod in their last five or on 17 chances. Yeah, Nashville has not allowed a shorthanded goal since March 21st, 2013. And by far the only team this year that has not given up one. So defensively on the power play, they're very responsible. Face off to the right of Hackett. Matt Cullen at 56.8% on draws. Leans in and wins it against Brian Flynn. Predators will set it up with the extra skater. Down to the hash marks on the left wing boards. Just starting to shot. Goes off the arm of Hackett. Comes over to the near boards where it's kept in by Roman Yossi. Of course, back on the point with Shane Weber on this Predators power play. Hornquist pass back to the point and Yossi shot to flex wide. Fisher working off the boards far side or left wing. Back to the point now Yossi here at the right point. Coming to meet it, Matt Cullen. Cullen's shot blocked in front. And it's shot off the boards and down the ice. Or did it? I'm not sure where that puck yeah, went. I think when Brian Flynn shot that puck across to the wall, it hit the corner right with the boards. And it popped up and over the glass. It just hit it perfectly and boom, up and over, yeah. Actually went into the Nashville bench. Yeah, it did. It popped straight up and actually the backup goaltender, Rene, makes the save on the bench. Face off again to the right of Hackett. This time Sabres win the draw. And it's cleared down the ice. Larson took that face off for Buffalo. If he keeps that up, he'll take a lot of draws tonight. This Nashville team I mentioned Cullen at 56.8%. That's remarkable. Of course, the only Sabre close to that number would be Zen and Kanopka not in the lineup tonight. Predators gain the Buffalo zone. Fisher this time on the right boards. Top of the circle. Stick handling his way back to the point for Weber. You'll see far side. As Hornquist now parked down to the right of Hackett. As the power play is 51 seconds left in it. Sabres keeping the play to the outside so far. Fisher now over on the far side of the ice. That's the left wing boards. Now it's Fisher taking return pass. Yossi with a shot. Neat little pass from Fisher after Weber orchestrated it from the near point. Yossi 
Again for Fisher, top of the circle, far side, down low. Lopez couldn't handle the pass. Looking for Matt Cullen at the other side. Weber now, far point. Pass off the boards, Fisher under some bother there from McBain, who tries to get to the puck, and the Sabres able to clear it out with 20 seconds to go in the penalty kill. 1-0 Nashville. First period of 11 minutes and 7 seconds to go is Ryan Ellis. The puck handler himself on the back end now will settle in for the rest of this power play. The puck bounces right in front of Hackett over his stick, but wide of the goal. And the Sabres send it down the ice and back to full strength now as the leader is out of the box. Quick pass ahead, Yarncrook. Lays it off to Craig Smith over on the left wing. He'll come back into the Nashville zone now up through center. Across the Buffalo line with it. Up the middle, fires a shot right in the logo of Hackett who was down on his knees to make the stop. Uh, Johan Larson coming up. Inserted back into the lineup here tonight. Nice block on this penalty kill. You see him coming across. It's a quick pass over in the far side. But he read it perfectly. Good timing, gets himself in the lane. And makes the big block, prevents the puck from getting through. That certainly has not been an aspect of the game that's been lacking for Buffalo. And they talked about it coming into tonight as well, especially with the likes of Shea Weber. Rob, you can't give him a foot or two to let him get that shot off. Otherwise, you don't want to be blocked. Yeah, when you talk about taking time and space away from somebody, Weber is that kind of a guy. you got to be within a stick length of him. you got to prevent him from getting wound up because it is a huge. It's a huge, heavy shot. And as we've seen last game, it doesn't matter if it's a slap shot or a wrist shot. It's very effective. Sabres in their own end trying to break out, and they finally find Tyler Ennis up near center. He's tied up, now Kloon with it. Short pass ahead in over the Buffalo line, but no forward progression that time for Eric Nystrom was forced back. And Yossi back in his own end. You'll see a lot of Shea Weber as well. It's not as if his ice time gets cut down, and nor should it be with Nashville trying to find their way back into the playoff picture. Here's a loose puck in the Predators' old McBain, top of the circle, near side. Sends a pass cross ice, and Cody Hodgson looked like he had a great chance for a one-timer. Hopped off his stick. Hodgson keeps it in for Weber from the point. Shot goes off his skate. Nystrom with the block. Loose puck picked up by McBain. Curls from the far corner, right wing side. Pass into the slot on his backhand. Hodgson turns to forehand, and a pass for McBain now in behind the net. Wilson just turns it over to Hodgson, far corner. Centering pass, side of the goal to Laurier. Off the bench, couldn't get his stick on it. Hodgson against the boards. Puck comes to the line and out. Now rolling puck. Look out into the Buffalo zone. And getting back there ahead of Wilson was Mike Weber for the Sabres. Cody Hodgson from the near boards. Rink line to Laurier offside as it was D'Agostini offside in ahead of the play. Predators lead it 1-0. 9-16 to go here in the first in Nashville. Predators trail the Nashville Predators 1-0 here. 9-16 left in the first. Our New York Auto inside the numbers. It's a long, strange trip. Fifth game of a season-long five-game road trip over 11 days, four time zones, 5,618 air miles traveled, and it's 633 miles back to Buffalo tonight. And it cannot happen soon enough. one nothing Predators in the face-off just ahead of the Nashville line. Buffalo and Erhoff will gain the zone with a shot. That one wide, glove side, lot on it. And the loose puck taken by Larson, stripped away. Play to the near corner by Victor Bartley, an Ottawa native on the back end, along with Michael Delzato for the Predators, who will get into the Buffalo zone this time on the left wing. In front of the net was falling. Bouncing puck is directed to the near corner. Now on the boards, Wilson. Right wing side from the circle back to the point. One timer, and Delzato's puck was off the pad of Hackett. And then comes back to the point again, Delzato. Down the right wing, he's sealed off by Larson. Mr. Nairhoff trying to get the play to go behind the net, comes back up top. Nashville continues with this pressure. Hartley plays it down to the far circle. Now Wilson curling out of the far corner. Watch there by Erhoff in behind the net now, coming for the puck. Stahlberg trying to center, he does, bouncing puck in front of the net, they score! Erhoff standing right there, and I don't think Colin Wilson expected to get that second chance at it. 2-0 Nashville. Now you can't allow players to stand in front of your net and expect them not to get the stick on the puck. You see four guys there, great. But you know what, nobody be in touch. Larson allows his man to walk right through. Erhoff has no idea from the backside that the man is coming, Colin Wilson. 
And right here, you're leaving Hackett just to do everything while you got four guys, well, two again, are inside the square, dictating play with the puck. Wilson picks up his eighth goal of the year. Predators back in the Buffalo zone again in the slot, score! Kelly Yarncrook picks up his first. Tonight a first for Nashville, and not good at all for Buffalo. No, that's right. This is the second man tonight getting their first goal of the season. And right off the faceoff, just under pressure. Right here, defenseman not able to handle the puck, and he works his way to the front. Instead of stopping, getting control of that puck, Henrik Tolina just continues to battle with it, brings the momentum himself, the man that's pressuring him, to the net. Instead of just stopping and getting it off into the corner to try to slow things down a little bit, ever the pressure just rolls to the net, and it just leaves a man wide open. Kelly Armcrook and Colton Sissons both pick up, sorry, they're first in the National Hockey League tonight, and Ted Nolan has seen enough, and it's huddle time at the bench. Yeah, his guys are not thinking here tonight. They're, we've talked about this too many times. They're just standing around watching. They're not being aggressive enough. You know, it's, it's a simple game when you just play man-to-man. -man. Find your man, eliminate him, stay within a sick length so you can control him when he does get the puck. But when you're watching and there's movement by the opposition and you're standing still, when they gain control of the puck, it's way too hard to stop them. Off the draw, Predators on it again. This is Hornquist in over the line. Weber stays with him and hits him against the boards. Far side, McBain seals his man off, and the loose puck comes back to Weber. Near corner, Buffalo from right to left as they bring it out of the zone and up through center. Drew Stafford following in on the play. Molino, Ennis out there as well. Far boards now, Ennis with a hit. Puck comes to center. Predators though, bringing three over the Buffalo line. Weber down the right wing. Puck gets away from him, now comes back. Top of the circle, Fisher leaves it. Cullen with a shot, he had a great chance. Near circle and fired it high. Predators get the puck to center. They shoot it back in the late offside, but they'll clear the zone. Seven minutes, 20 seconds to go. First period, 3-0 Nashville. Not a full house here in Nashville, but it'll be a loud one if this continues. Nystrom over the Buffalo line. In the slot, knocked away by Ellis. Played in behind the net for Sissons. Down here in the near corner, right wing side. Ellis comes to meet the puck, plays it side of the net, turning and firing his glue, bouncing puck, hack and save on the far post. John Scott behind the net. Puck comes to Sissons, played up the boards, near side, Clue plays it under the goal line. Sabres can't clear it again on the defensive. Larson keeping watch on Eckholm, who puts it towards the net. That's blocked. Scott trying to direct it behind the net, but he's watched there by Nystrom. Play continues on the near boards. Now it comes free to Clune and back to the point. Eckholm, top of the zone, takes the shot. More like a pass, and that's intercepted. Ristolainen and now will bring the Sabres out to center and shoot it into the national zone. Buffalo needing a change. Delore out first in on the four check. Cody Hodgson out with him. And the Predators making their way easily to center. Too easy and into the Buffalo zone on the left side. Turning with it is Colin Wilson. Nashville fired up now with the three goals tonight. Stolberg working in the far boards along with Spalding. Wilson behind the net. Watched by Erhoff. Puck comes out in front. Sabres on it. And it's up the boards now for Delorier. Up through center. Pass off to Agostini. Shot right on. And gloved and quickly put back into play by Carter Hutton. He wants this ball to keep rolling. Sabres keep it in. Near side, shot well wide of the goal by Erhoff. Far side, Ruido keeps it in, tipped in front, and Hutton forced to make a save. Now he gets some bite in the game, and Delorier, he's dropped the gloves. He's going to go at the side of the net. Against Victor Bartley, they go against the glass. Delorier, the helmet is off. The Sabres rookie throwing his left hand. Trying to get the right hand free up against the glass now is Delorier and just hanging on. He's out of gas. Well, there's the bite Ted Nolan's looking for. Unfortunately, the goals the Buffalo Sabres are looking for all belong to Nashville. 3-0 in the first. Miller time brought to you by Miller Light. And we talked about it in the opening. We want to see guys start playing with some passion. And right here, finally, we see a little bit come out of the Sabres. Nick Delorier 
had enough, standing in front. And he ends up grabbing onto Victor Bartley. And the two of them get in the scrap. But this is what you want to see. You want to see guys getting upset. What's going on this season has not been good. And in turn, in this game, being down three in this first period already, you want to see a lot of emotion start flowing from these guys to see what type of player you got. So the Sabres and Predators will remain at even strength. And Buffalo now waking on the right wing side offside into the Nashville zone. And Sabres. Passion, talent, and hard work help the Sabres perform at their best. That's also what helps us win injury cases. Give us a call. And Rob, even when you're looking for momentum, something as simple as it would seem is an offside call. Just keep stalling any momentum you want to get when you try to gain the zone and get something going here. Well, it does. You want to keep the puck moving, especially when you've got possession of it. You just don't want to give it up. You know, too many times we talk about guys getting the puck on the sidewall, just throwing the puck to the net when there's nobody there. All you're doing is giving that up when you're making a dump in. If you're not putting it into an area where you've got at least a 50-50 chance of coming up with the puck again, hang on to it. Wait till your percentages rise and then start putting it in an area where you do have a better chance of getting it. Yeah, just little things like that. Just slow the game rate down and they rip all the life out of you. Sabres at center, fired or in by Larson behind the net. Hutton with it. Ryan Ellis comes to meet the puck. Plays it on the boards, far side, and now out to center where it's turned over, and Weber gives it right back to the Predators, and Wilson's over the line. Up the middle, now slides it back to the point. Eckholm holds it, now takes the shot, far circle, and that looks like it hit Victor Stahlberg, who has had the puck go off his midsection, perhaps, but now spins away from the play, and the Sabres get a chance to move it out. Weber now, left wing to center, he'll fire it in. All the way around to the other corner, far side. Bloom, a piece of it. Four check on for the Sabres. Cody Hodgson trying to get to the puck. Predators will bring it out. Left wing to center, Hodgson. Nice back check there. Lift the stick, got the puck back, and D'Agostini lays it off. Christian Erhoff will put it off the boards and into the Nashville zone with four minutes and five seconds remaining in a 3 0 first period. Nashville with all the goals. Sissons plays it out. Now it's a race for the puck. Nystrom into the Buffalo zone. Far circle. Catching up to him is Erhoff. Trying to stay with him. Nystrom tries to center it in front. Comes to the corner near side. Kept down low in the Buffalo zone. Erhoff behind the net. Kristalinen plays the puck away. Gabriel Bork went for an awkward slide into the end boards. Sabres bring it now across the Nashville line. Bruce Stafford down on the corner. In behind the net. Stop and turn to the near side. Played back to Talinder. Top of the circle. Talinder on his backhand. Sends it to the front of the net. Traffic in front. All yellow jerseys. And the Predators bring it out to center. Sabres back goal with four white jerseys in their own zone. And Yossi will just spin it off the boards. Where it's taken now by Marcus Foligno and played in the middle of the ice. Stafford across the line. Ennis is with him. Stafford can't get the shot away. Trying to go through the middle. Stick was lifted. And the Predators come back. Craig Smith across the line. Pass to the left wing side. Yarncrook. Back to Smith behind the net. Puck bounces over a stick into the near corner. Foligno can't get possession of the puck to play it ahead to Tyler Ennis. Predators have it again. Eckholm, top of the zone. 2.45 to go in the period. Craig Smith down here on the right wing boards. Ruido meets him. Puck gets past Ruido. Chipped to the line, but not out. Kept in. Sent to the slot, gloved down by the Sabres and cleared out towards center. Buffalo need a change. Drew Stafford's got to get off the ice, and now the timing might not have been the greatest. Says here come the Predators on the counter. Fisher trying to center. That's knocked away. Kept in at the point by Ellis. But we get a whistle, and too many men on the ice going to be called here against Buffalo. So it is getting... Yeah, Dan. When you talk about yeah. not the right time, it was not the right time. Because what happened, everybody panicked at the bench. Because the play was coming in, Fisher was getting the puck coming across the line, and it was, uh-oh, what's going on and who's going? So, Sabres are going to pay the price here again. Nashville are over one on the power play. They generated two shots, that first one. And that's where your call was made, right there. Buffalo's not sent. Oh, yes, they have. 
Well, no, they haven't. They've not sent a player to the box. Now here it comes. Just want to mention, I just saw John Scott, for what it's worth, lead the bench with 2.21 to go. Yeah, we're going to show you what happened to John behind the net. He went in and put along with Cody Hodson. And he got up very slow, and he has gone to the dressing room here with 2.20 left in the first. Weber trying to play it, cross ice in the Buffalo zone, left down, and Larson closed his hand on the puck, and another penalty coming up to Buffalo. I mean, it just... Yeah, that's a roughing call coming to Larson here. This is a little bit of a frustration call. Wow. John Scott behind the net right here. He's going to come in. Uh, right here, when he goes to make the hit, he goes down, he gets that right leg tied up underneath the Nashville Predator and he had a difficult time getting up and getting to the bench and when he did finally went right into the room there's Larson coming out yeah he closed his hand oh on the he puck. closed the hand on the puck and he threw it out so five on three for Nashville now 150 remaining in the first penalty the too many men on the ice. Predators in the Buffalo zone win the faceoff. 3 0 Nashville looking to add to it here with a two man advantage. Weber at the point. Tees up from the near circle and Hackett, top of the paint, came out to meet the shot. Robbie didn't sit back. He actually came forward as the shot was being delivered. And you need to because you've got to get outside that blue paint or at least on top of it to cut the angle down. The deeper you stay in the net, the more Shea Weber's got to shoot at. So get out on top because his shot is a cannon. And I was kind of surprised they're not switched. But you see what they're going to try to do. Cullen's going to try to feed him as he's walking in. Back to Weber off the faceoff again. Cullen down on the near circle, right side. Looks to Weber, who now will change sides. Here comes Ellis, and he puts one off the post. Ryan Ellis, I watched his entire career in junior hockey and represent Team Canada World Junior Championships, and you knew there was something in this young kid, and he's starting to show it in the National Hockey League. That's why he's on the power play right now with Weber. Ellis with the puck top of the zone. Sends it down to the far circle. Fisher cross ice. Near side. Weber down low. Lays it off. Cullen. Top of the goal line. Back to Weber again. Fakes the shot. Cullen looking to go cross ice. He'll take the shot instead. Near side. Save made. Hackett. Weber. Far circle. Ellis. Down low. Fisher looks in front. Hornquist in front of the net. Back to Weber. He tees that one up. And that went wide. You can hear off the boards. One minute to go in the period. 39 seconds to go on the two-man advantage. Ellis to the left. Fisher side of the net as Hornquist takes the pass. Back to Fisher again. Head up as he looks for Weber. Near circle. Cullen slot for Hornquist. Broken up. Sabres can't get the puck back to clear it. Weber winds. Fires. Well, if you're young enough and didn't grow up to watch Al McGinnis play in the National Hockey League, you're seeing this generation's version with that shot. And it might be better because of new technology and the way they sticks are. And that's what you do in a five on three right here. You look to your best shooter. You try to tease him down low, thinking that it's going to come the cross ice pass. Try it a couple times, but bang, when it opens up, you look to your best guy right there. You get traffic in front, hack it out on top of the paint, exactly where he needs to be. But that shot was just a cannon. Up and over his glove, short side, and the top of the net. And that's his 19th of the year for Shea Weber. His 11th power play goal, and it's 4-0 Nashville with 34 seconds to go in the period. They're on the power play for another 18 as Craig Smith carries it in the corner. Comes around to the near side. Sabres looking to clear, bouncing puck just kept in at the point. Lay down the board, centering pass, Hackett makes a save, rebound! Yeah. Some fired high by Elsie who came down out there with Michael Delzato. And the linesman referee going to talk about where this faceoff will be to be outside the Sabre zone. Well, this is the first little bit of a break, and Matt Hackett there, he's got to be thinking after this first period, you know, what's going on? He's only faced 14 shots. They've got four goals on him to this point, but... He's done a pretty good job. You know, he's made some big saves. He's out on top and everything, but he didn't get a ton of help by his, from his defenseman or even his forwards in front. They hung him out to dry a little bit here in the first. Wilson wins the draw for Nashville. 15 seconds to go in the period, and the power play now just expires as Larson comes onto the ice, and we get another whistle offside. So the draw will come back outside. The line savers back to full strength. Now the Sabres need to go into this room 
you got two periods to go, you're down four, you've got to go in, you've got to look at each other and, and yourself and just say, hey, what can I do better? And I got to say, every guy in that dressing room can honestly say there's a lot more they can do and bring to this hockey game in the next two periods. Predators gain the zone for one more push. Here's a chance in front, Hackett reaches for it, covers up at the blue paint with zeros on the scoreboard in way of the time clock. And now some pushing and shoving after a first period where as Rob and I'm sure Brad will mention, the Sabres players will go look at themselves and say, guys, this, you know, everything that's happened this year, yep. Rob, this is the first time we've seen this. Well, it is, and, and it's something they're going to have to face. And you're wondering maybe why it hasn't happened earlier. But, uh, you know, right now, it's all in their court. They've got to go in there and find out what was going on. They had one shift that period where they had any sustained pressure down low. It was the Felino, Ennis, and Stafford line. They kept it in there for a great amount of time, got a couple of good chances, but just too much standing around and being outworked all over the ice. Well, and it was right after that shift, or not long after, Nashville went down the ice. Colton Sidson's got his first of the year to start it. We'll try to do this as quickly as possible for you for period number one. And if you look how close they were in all of these situations to interrupting the play, McBain couldn't get a grasp on the rebounder, box this guy out, turns into a goal. Here, Aroff's got the puck, but it's kind of a combination. He tries to clear, and Wilson puts it in. Yarncroke is the beneficiary of this. It's aggressive play by, by Craig Smith, and lack of coverage in front, but easily could have been just turned aside along the wall. And then this turns into a broken play on the penalty kill, but Aroff can't get the puck. And before you know it, Shea Weber's got it. So Sissons is first NHL goal. Wilson's is eighth, first and 34. Yarn Croak's first NHL goal, and Wave, uh, Shea Weber has 19 on the season. It all adds up to Nashville four, Buffalo no score. Sabres only had four shots in the period, and most alarming would have to be, obviously, zero from in the red zone area around Carter Hutton, who's getting his second look at Buffalo this year. So a minus 18 on the Corsi, but the score that matters is 4 nothing. Let's see how the group responds after, I'm sure, an emotional Ted Nolan between periods addressing them. Dan and Rob with period two. Brian, all Ted Nolan responds by changing his goaltender here to start the second period. So Nathan Lewin makes his fourth appearance for the Buffalo Sabres. He's played in three games. has a record of 0-2, a goals against average of three, and a save percentage of 9.03. There's the numbers out of the way, but emotionally, Rob, what likely was happening in that room? Well, I think Teddy Nolan was trying to get their attention, and, and probably no way is he pointing a finger at the way Matt Hackett played because he got zero help. He didn't get any help from anywhere on the ice, and this guy was a sacrificial lamb. He was the guy going into the, into the situation here. They scored four on him, get him out of there, put somebody else in just to try to get their attention, and hopefully they respond here in the second period. Sabres this time from left to right in the second period, down 4 nothing, and Stafford with a backhand into the Nashville zone. Predators back after, deep in his own end. Greg Smith, puck comes up the boards near side. Gabriel Bork gets it out into the Buffalo zone, all the way down the ice. No icing on the play as Weber has to race back after, being watched closely by Yarncroke, who picked up his first NHL goal in the opening period. One of two Predators to do that. Bouncing puck into the Sabres zone as Nashville changes up. Long pass up the right wing side, tipped by Drew Stafford into the Nashville end. Predators, time and space to move it up. Matt Cullen, quick pass out, gets a return feed. Now some room for Ellis. He's over the Buffalo line, takes the shot. Pad save made by Lewin. Ellis had a lot of real estate in front of him. Cullen plays it up the boards near side. Quick wide pass by Eckholm for Ryan Ellis. That one comes outside the Sabres blue line, and the Predators, Eckholm back in his own end. Ahead to Fisher, trying to tip it in over the line. That's turned back. Delorier trying to pull his way deep into the Nashville zone. Ellis plays it up the boards. Sidesteps a check there from D'Agostini, who comes back again. Now to Leander, picks off a pass for Conacher. Left circle, centers in front. That deflects right on the stick of Matt Cullen. And the 37-year-old starts the rush with a pass up ice for Stolberg. Stolberg, quick shot coming off the boards, left wing side. That one stopped by Nathan Lewin. Sabres will try a rink wide pass. Up the right wing boards, looking for Conacher, bouncing puck. Steer to the corner, deep in the Nashville zone. Sabres on it first. Flynn takes a shot. Here's Larson turning and firing, and that one stopped by Carter Hutton. Larson keeps it in. Left corner, takes a shot off the side of the net. Flynn on it. Backhand pass, one-timer, Ristolainen scores! Rasmus Ristolainen gets the Buffalo Sabres on the board with a rocket of a shot. Well, finally, the Sabres have come out in this second period with a little life and a little desire and a little hard work. And exactly what happens, it gets paid off by a goal. They have some good pressure in the zone. 
Good support. They rotate the puck. They throw the puck to the net every opportunity they can. Right here, Brian Flynn just throws it to a wide open Rasmus Lannan. One times that puck as it comes out. And it was a great shot. Far side, top shelf, just under the bar. But here, good hard work along the wall. See what it gets you? It gets results. And all, a heads up right here, all five National Predators claps in their zone. And lots of room for Ristolainen to take the shot. Rasmus Ristolainen picks up his second of the Sabres in this game with their first goal, turning 4-1 to one and lifting the bouncing puck to center. And in over the Nashville line again comes Ellis. Puck comes right on, and Carter Hutton forced to make another save. The puck lifted out. Clue will chase after it into the Buffalo zone. Won't get to it. Sabres get it to the line and a delayed offside as Colton Sisson's got a piece of it. Back the other way. Tyler Ennis with a long shot. That one gloved down. Played ahead now to Nystrom. He sends a pass up ahead. Clune got a piece of it. Nashville will change it up as D'Agostini has it behind the Buffalo goal. Aaron pass by D'Agostini off the far boards and Kelly Arcoke just throws it down to the corner. Sabres bring it around on the near side. Cody Hodgson. Aaron pass up through the middle and it's knocked down by Ryan Ellis. Eckholm. Short pass up through the middle. Taken by Craig Smith. Predators get it deep into the Buffalo zone. Mike Weber, far boards. Cody Hodgson can't clear as Ellis came down the boards to pinch in. Now three Sabres start the rush up through center. Cody Hodgson left wing. In over the line. Two on one pass back to Agostini. Went off a skate of Nashville's skaters as they came back into the zone to try and negate that two on one. And the Sabres make the change frustrated on that scoring opportunity. It's 16-25 remaining in the second period. 4-1 Nashville. The Predators send Buffalo back into the road end. Sabres from left to right, up through the center ice area. Larson chasing after it, down underneath the goal line. Eckholm sidesteps the check, still with a puck. Tries to play it on a redirect back behind the net for Ryan Ellis. It hit the referee, and the Predators instead will pass it up the right wing where it's picked off by the Sabres. Conacher trying to get possession in over the line, taken away by Eckholm for Ellis. Long pass up the middle, that one misses Craig Smith, and it's icing charged against the Nashville Predators. Our Moe's hot player, Rasmus Ristolainen, has scored, so visit Moe's tomorrow for 25% off your entree. Now well, the Sabres got a two-on-one situation on the rush. Cody Hodgson's got the puck. He's going to try to make the pass across. Eckholm makes a nice play, dropping to his knees. Right here, just as he baits him, prevents the puck from getting through. You almost thought maybe take that shot on net. You got D'Agostini driving through for the sure thing. That's a very, a very low percentage pass when you're going to try to put it through a defenseman to the guy driving through. Get the puck to the net and allow him to find it after the goalie makes the save if it doesn't go in. Well, and if you're skating with Cody Hodgson, you know the kind of shot he has. There's a good chance from that distance there'll be a rebound waiting for you, too, in front of the net. You're right, and, and he's got such a great shot, and he doesn't use it near enough. But just uh, too many times he looks to make that play all the time. Fisher pass it over the Buffalo line. That's Aaron. The Sabres get it back again. Here's Felino just ahead of the Nashville line against the boards right wing side. Tips it in over the line and now Ennis with it. Top of the circle. Fires a shot. Pad save. Stafford was there looking for the rebound but it's kicked clear of him and now it's brought back by the Predators. Yossi leaves it in over the Buffalo line and a shot fired by Cullen Wilson deflects over the far boards and now Buffalo with a chance to break it out again. Sabres will make a change as they get it deep into the Nashville zone with 15 minutes and 8 seconds to go and a 4-1 Predators lead in the second period of play. John Scott back onto the ice after he limped off in that first period and went to the room early late in the period. Predators trying to break out, turn it over. Here's Ellis now. High slot, takes the shot and save is made by Hutton. Nashville a little awkward getting out of their zone in that moment. Matt Ellis made that whole thing happen there because Matt Ellis got in on the force, he chased, he stopped, he didn't swing away, he stopped, he started, he turned back, followed the play, and eventually, just by him staying on the puck and ragging it, it came to him. See, he eliminates, comes across, he's going to force the puck wherever it was. Right here, he takes his man, goes back the other way. When he goes, he's going to stop, come back again. That was a lot of hard work by Matt Ellis, and he ended up getting a great scoring opportunity because of it. Predators in their own end. Sabres continue with a much better forecheck in this period. Larson against the end boards, along with Brian Flynn, right behind the Nashville goal. Comes up the boards near side as it's partly trying to play it ahead. Now, rink-wide pass. Predators gain the zone. 
Top of the circle, right side. Here comes a shot. Save is made. Rebound comes back between the circles and off the skate and outside the line. Michael Delzato had a couple of chances for Nashville. He gets the puck back again at his own blue line. Up to center, Delzato. Pass off to the right-hand side. A little bit too far and out of the reach for Gabriel Bork. Here come the Sabres back the other way. Conacher long shot from the left wing, and that is stopped by Hutton. He'll hold on. 13 minutes and 59 seconds to go in the second period. Sabres on board, courtesy of Rasmus for Salina, but they trail it 4-1. to one. Now The Sabres in this second period come out with a little more grit and desire. They generated seven shots, got one goal from it. Out shooting Nashville 7-3 here so far in the first six minutes of this second period. Sabres leading in the hits department as well. So if, again, you're looking for little signs of some improvements here as Hornfist carries over the Buffalo line. Feast down to Fisher, bouncing puck off his stick. He has it on the goal line in the near corner. Nashville deep into the Buffalo zone. Yossi, far side, Weber scores. <laughs> Referee coming to the timekeeper's box right away. Now he's coming because he's got to get another puck because they picked up that puck for Shea Weber. 20th goal. And his teammates quickly pounced on that puck to make sure he got it for him. 20 goals for a defenseman. It's a heck of a feat. And once again, you've got to be aware of who's on the ice with you. And Shea Weber, six on the, on the right of your screen. He just gets lost over there. And when he gets the chance, bang. Just a big slapper, and it finds its way through. Not much traffic, but it finds its way into the net. 128th goal of his career, and the Buffalo Sabres now down 5-1 to one after they got that one back in this period. Play back in the Buffalo zone. Along the near boards, Buffalo can't clear. Eckholm keeps it in. Bouncing puck. Jarn Cook keeps it along the boards, looking for Craig Smith. Gets some help, but it's D'Agostini who brings it back to Buffalo's Center ice. Sliding puck to Carter Hutton at the side of the net. Tony Hudson against the board's far side. Can't keep the puck in the zone. Predator's able to clear it. D'Agostini, nice move on that left wing. Top of the circle, fires pads. They picked out and just off the side of the net is Tony Hudson. Drove towards the goal with Yarn Cook watching him. Predators will try again with a breakout. Yarn Cook's going to send it back in behind the net. Back home. Away from the four check. Well, Delorier who will go to the bench for Buffalo. Echo, meanwhile, left wing over the Buffalo line, down to the hash marks, all the way down to the corner. Now plays it under the goal line. Bouncing puck, side of the net, golf to the point, but not out. Kept in by the Predators. Clune behind the net. Sissons scored a goal in the first period, has it, plays it back towards the point. Down low, nice from against the boards, taken out of the play. Clune trying to turn it back down low again. Mike Weber. Plays the puck to the faceoff dot. Neat little pass by Brian Flynn. That finds McBain, who sends the puck down the ice into the Nashville zone. Delzato back after it. Drop pass for Sissons, and he'll leave it. Now it's Delzato again, who got a piece of it. Puck bounces into the Buffalo zone, and then comes all the way back to Delzato, who turned just inside his own blue line. Long pass. Spalling in the Buffalo zone with a drop. Stolberg down to the far corner, met there by John Scott. Wilson looking for the loose puck, trying to dig it loose. Got Spalling standing in the face-off circle on the inside. The puck comes outside the Buffalo zone to center. 11 and a half to go. Sabres down 5-1 to one here in the second period. Nashville retreats all the way back into the road end. Hey. Colin Wilson. First rounder in 08. That's the Predators in the Buffalo zone and in behind the net with it now. Bouncing puck comes to the side of the net. Lewin keeping watch. Puck comes against the boards near side. Ellis with that battle. Now on the far side. Marcus Foligno trying to seal it off. Delorier can't get to the puck. Now it comes back to this near side. Talinder tips it out to center. Sabres just can't get possession back from the Predators though as Eckholm has it inside his own zone and quickly passes ahead to Spalding over the Buffalo line. Stolberg just tips it here to the near corner. Wilson, puck on his stick, plays it back. You'll see, holds it. Trying to go between the legs of Cody Hodgson and cross ice with a pass to Shea Weber, and Weber has to retreat back into his own end. Quick pass up ahead, and it's tipped by Matt Cullen, and looking for a streaking Patrick Hornquist up the middle, but that is called 
Offside. Stay up to date on roster moves and find out what the coach is thinking every week on WGR. Ted Nolan, Tuesday mornings at 8 with Howard and Jeremy on the home of the Buffalo Sabres. WGR Sports Radio 550. Dan, a little fact for you. You know how many draft picks we have stocked up, first and second rounders, yep. that we keep talking about? Well, all five goal scorers here tonight that have scored for the Sabres and Nashville were either first or second round players. That's how big of a difference it can make in a hockey team. I was going to mention as well, certainly travel and the length of the trip is no excuse because you look at who has been a part of this game tonight. We mentioned Johan Larson's name a lot, even though he took that one penalty, but trying to make things happen. And, of course, Rasmus Ristolainen. They're just, young. They, they yeah. should be able to play every night of the week, especially when they're getting a chance at this level to come out and, you know, have the chance to maybe solidify a spot. And listen, to Rasmus Man, you is, don't sit back. You leave yeah. it out there because you might not get another chance. And Rasmus did tell us after the morning skate today, he was asked, are you tired from the travel? He said, doesn't matter. I'm in the National Hockey League. I'm ready to go. And that's the attitude you got to try to get across to these guys. Take advantage of every opportunity. Trust me, I've got plenty of friends. And I know a lot of guys got one opportunity, and they didn't make the most of it, and they never got another one. So you have to be grateful when you get it and make the most of it. Well, that man makes the most of his scoring opportunities in sure Shane does. Weber. A lot of talk about him, Norris Trophy candidate this year. Well, he Barry just Trotz. played a career high 34 minutes and 14 seconds against Chicago the other day. Barry Trotz says it's the best year he's ever had. I don't know how you argue that one. Yep. Been fantastic. Sabres get the puck deep now in the national hey. zone. Honaker can't get to it, and Clune starts the breakout with a pass ahead, and the Predators now into the Buffalo zone. Sisson's giving chase. Weber meets him with a good hit against the end boards. Hopes a puck to an open wing where Delzato comes down on his back end of play to the corner. Al Nystrom in behind the Buffalo net with a pass. Weber with a hit on him as well. Comes back to the near point. Bartley will put it in behind the goal. Nystrom turns to his backhand working in this left wing corner. A low for Clune as Nashville worked this cycle. And boy, this could take a lot out of you as a defense core chasing and trying to get possession back again. That's why this is such an effective play. They'll try it down the Predators deep in the Buffalo zone over on the right wing side. Same line doing the same thing. Jamie McBain finally gets enough of the puck to flip it out to center ice and with now under nine minutes to go in the second period. 5-1 Nashville. They'll fire right back in. Nathan Lewin who started the second period out to play it. Far corner. McBain. Pass ahead and Sabres now will bring it up through center. John Scott lost the puck as he got to that Predators logo at the center ice line and bumped there with Patrick Hornfist. They let each other go. And the puck sent down the ice. And an icing call coming up here against Buffalo. With eight and a half to go in the second. Well, Big John carrying the puck up through the middle of the ice. You like to see it. You like to see confidence. But you also like to see him at some point maybe move it. Get it in deep and work from there. But it was nice when he did turn it over. He stayed with it, stopped, and he's able to regain control of it to get it back to Jimmy McBain. Off the draw in the Buffalo zone. Scott with the puck again. Tried to pass it off, but the pass was behind Ryan Flint. Sabres will try it this time over on the left wing. Now up to center in the shoot-in, right on. Hutton plays a long pass ahead. Yossi, make this Gabriel Bork over the line. Looks back to the point, tried to play it in the slot. Rosado trying to catch up to the play. Comes up the boards near side where it's taken by Ellis. Just ahead of the Nashville line and he'll lift it in. Lozano back after it first. Agostini just takes the puck away from him. And lost it. He almost had a stick knocked out of his hands. But Cody Hodgson finds D'Agostini. Quick shot. Bouncing puck side of the net. Hutton dives to his right to make the save. Sabres get a chance. But they're down 5-1 to one with 7.46 to go on the 7 here in Music City. Official copier company of the Buffalo Sabres, Toshiba Business Solutions, is your leader in document management. Now, Big John standing in front of the net. We talked about him carrying the puck right here. This is what he needs to do. Create traffic. He almost was able to redirect that one up and over, and when he swung around, the goaltender Hutton just comes across and, and gets his glove on it. But right there, just keeping it simple, creating the traffic, and you got to look for the ugly ones. They're not going to come pretty here tonight. Tony Hodgson with a face-off to the right of Carter Hutton. Wins it cleanly. Top of the circle. Shot doesn't get through from D'Agostini. He's got it again. Turns and fires, and that comes into the corner. D'Agostini's on the loose puck himself. 
That plays it down to the corner near side. Comes right back to him. Takes the shot. Blocker saves. Loose puck. Rebound. Fired wide. D'Agostini off his skate. Here's Hudson winding and firing, and that shot was blocked. D'Agostini knocked down, and the penalty coming up here to Nashville. And that's how you do it for the Buffalo Sabres. Hodgson with a rocket and D'Agostini tenacious on the puck. Yeah, and Mike Weber's going to the box for tripping here, so they're going to go on the power play, give themselves an opportunity. But you're right, taking the shot from everywhere. Like to see the net hit a little more, but at least you're on top of the puck. You're coming up with the loose ones. You're winning a few battles. You see D'Agostini getting hauled down there. There's the penalty. But some nice work by this line, creating some chances here. You see Cody Hodgson staying out, along with Ennis and Stafford up front with his first power play. Yeah. Buffalo with the extra skater with Fisher in the box. Puck knocked down in the slot. Tyler Ennis plays it back to the point. First in air hop. Back to Ennis, right wing boards. Into the circle, lost it. This Buffalo Sabres power play brought to you by New Wave Energy. Visit nwaveenergy.com to join the power behind the Buffalo Sabres. Use offer code Sabres. And I apologize. I said Mike Weber. It's Mike Fisher. Similar players. Got him mixed up. Ristolainen, outside of the right circle, plays it down under the goal line. Tyler Ennis, nice move, turns towards goal with a little backhand pass now. Stafford behind the net, watched by Weber. Played back to the line, on his backhand, Ristolainen just able to keep it in. Against the boards, Drew Stafford behind the net now for Tyler Ennis. Sabres on the power play, desperately need one here. Here's a shot by Erhoff, and it's covered up by Carter Hutton. Now Stafford was on the doorstep. Yeah, just keeping it simple, winning the battles along the wall, getting to the point, and make sure you get your shot through. That's Airhouse job, keeping it down and making it so the guys can get a stick on it, redirect it, or just directly into the net. And Billy Leno has not played here since early in the first period. He got one shift in the first period and has not been back. Sabres win the draw cleanly, able to keep it in at the line is McBain. He doesn't shoot it, lays it off. Conacher holds the shot. McBain one-timer, and that hits traffic in front. It's clear down the ice. Sabres definitely shooting the puck a lot more, and power play with 51 seconds remaining in it. As Delorier carries up through the center ice logo and fires it in behind the net. Hutton to play. Bobbled it a little bit. And offside called. Line's been here at the near side. Signaling the faceoff will come outside the zone. 43 seconds to go with the extra skater Buffalo. We've talked a lot about Shea Weber here tonight. Great defenseman for this hockey team. Nashville's got the youngest decor in the NHL. Average at age of 24.02 years of age. Likes of Michael Delzato, Ryan Ellis, both are 23. And that's a nice Roman young Yossi. players. Yeah. J.P. Dubon told me this morning that Ellis has probably got the best offensive mind by the D on anybody in this hockey team once he gets in the offensive zone. He's a great creator of chances. He gets up in there and he's just like a forward. So when that guy's able to move up like that, a lot of questions early in his career. But his size being able to play in this yep. game, he compensates for how smart he is and how good he is with the puck offensively. Sabres power play down to 14 seconds in the Nashville zone. Far side, Delorio keep it behind the net. With a shooting, Stafford reaching for the bouncing puck. That's behind him. Stafford turns back to chase after it. Bouncing puck, and Nashville will clear it down the ice. It's a bouncer. Lewin's got to be careful of this one, and he gets down on the crouch to make the stop. We're back to even strength. 5-1 Nashville with 5.50 to go in the second period. Buffalo in their own end. The vein cross-ice pass comes back here to the near wing, right side, and Tyler Ennis fires it in behind the Nashville goal. Ennis. Keeps the chase up, but it's tipped past him. And now Colin Wilson brings it to the Buffalo line and in. Wilson cut off as he gets down to the goal line by Christian Erhoff. There's the line in, in the far corner. Pinned against the boards. Larson over there as well for Buffalo. Cut comes free, and now a three on two for Buffalo if they push this up ice. In over the line, here's Stafford, right wing side. Can't handle the bouncing puck. Stafford now trying to direct it to the side of the net off the right wing. That's knocked away. Greg Smith turns with it just inside his own zone. Colin Wilson at center has a bouncing puck taken away from him. Sabres changing up. Brian Flynn pass off. Here's Ellis with a shot and a glove save by Carter Hutton. Lightning quick left hand. But Matt Ellis not hesitating in taking that shot. Sabres trail at 5-1 for a second. 
Our Hyundai leaders, the points and plus minus combined by the NHL leaders. We talked the other night about Ovechkin leading the way in goals, but had a very bad plus minus at a minus 31. Well, here's the guys that lead your league right here. Ryan Getzlap is the number one guy at a total of 107, followed by Crosby, Perry, Poposki, and Tapes. And if you do Ovechkin's work, he's a 41. One thing all those skaters have in common, almost impossible to knock off the puck. Here comes Nashville with a two-on-one, starting on the right side, and Nathan Lewin kicks that one out. Sabres come back up through center. In over the line, Conacher trying to get through a pretty packed-in Nashville defense as the Sabres gain the zone. Buffalo sit back into their own end again. Here's Brian Flynn, pass into the middle to Leander. Pass up through center, Larson. Gonna touch it for Flynn, delayed offside. Flynn's got to leave it. Now he gets the line. There's a shot fired by Conacher and a glove save by Hutton. He's going to keep playing moving. Drops the puck and says, let's keep going here with 3.40 to go in the second period. Hartley sends a pass off to the right. Now trying to hit Cullen. That's knocked down. Sabres trying to drive the net. Here's D'Agostini. Side of the goal, holds it. Takes a look for a target. Plays it back, top of the circle. Shot doesn't get through. Bouncing puck goes all the way up over the glass. Banking just got simpler with First Niagara. Download the First Niagara mobile banking app featuring the new one swipe balance. Speed and simplicity at your fingertips. Well, Rob, the referees talked about it to see how that puck got over the glass. They decide no face off stays in the zone and no penalty. Yeah, it just deflected up and over. There was a nice fight in the stands for that puck, but the man with the two young boys won it. So it was nice to see. But once again, the Sabres, they're getting forced time down low because they're forcing the puck to get their feet moving, they're creating turnovers. If you can pressure this D, they're young. We just got done talking about it. They're gonna turn it over. Buffalo out shooting 14-5. Here's a chance for Cody Hodgson, bouncing puck. Boy, he had some room here on the short side. McBain for the point. Shot deflects to D'Agostini. Over at the left wing, hash marks. And a turn away from the coverage of Fisher. Now in behind the net, Cody Hodgson battles against Ryan Ellis. Hodgson comes up with it, but puts the puck with the stick of Matt Cullen, and he chips it out. Off the boards, down into the Buffalo zone. Mike Weber in behind the net. Near side, McVeigh almost tracked down by Patrick Hornquist. Nashville pretty strong on the porch. And great the turnover and a shot to flex wide of Lewin's glove side. And the Sabres send the puck the length of the ice. No icing, no linesman waving off. 2.30 to go, second period. Nashville with a four-goal lead, up 5-1. to one. Predators shooting it in to the Buffalo zone. Far side after it is Bork. In behind the net, coming down to help out Yard Crow. Still with it, working out of the near corner. Makes the spin back down to the left wing corner towards the goal line. Chased by Erhoff. Sends a puck to the boards, far side. Yossi's come down from his point. Yard Crow now, top of the far circle. Weber, one timer off the post, looking for the hat trick. Weber backhands it deep under the goal line again. Four for Yossi, far point. Polito trying to close. And take his time and space away, forcing the pass. Play comes to the near boards, bouncing puck, gloved down by the Predators, and Ennis gets it out to center. Marcus Foligno, Ryan almost back his way in over the Nashville line. Predators come back. Bork again, Yossi with him. Drop for Yossi, that's intercepted. And back the other way comes Marcus Foligno. He's over the Nashville line. Foligno still with the puck. Nice drop pass in the slot. Ruido fires a shot, and that deflects high. As Ruido looks to join the list of first on this night, but it wasn't to happen on that shot. Well, Dan, there's a guy in the crowd here tonight. Not in the crowd. He's up here working. He's doing the Nashville radio that the Sabres could use right now because of his offensive touch. There's J.P. Dumont. He's working the radio here tonight with the Nashville Predators. He makes his home here now. His family and live here. Doing a nice job here on the radio and very involved in the local hockey. So it was good to see J.P. today. Spent some time with him and just catch up. Face off of the Nashville zone against the boards, right wing side. Pokes free and Colin Wilson just directs the puck and now will chase after it into the Buffalo zone. Far corner. Ruido stays on him. Now to help out is to Leander trying to dig the puck free. He does to Leander still against the boards on the far side. Trying to play it past Conacher who was just standing right in front of him. The puck is sent into the Nashville zone with now one minute remaining in period number two. Sabres with the edge and shots, but trail it 
by four goals. Predators in over the Buffalo line. Right in behind the net, now in the near corner. Looking back towards the point. Unable to get the puck off his stick with Stahlberg. Spalding has it come back to the line now. Center of the Buffalo zone. There's a shot through traffic. And Bartley took that one and it's behind the Buffalo net again. Puck comes out in front and it redirects to the near corner. Nathan Lewin thought he might have to make a glove save there. Yossi keeps it in. Stahlberg near circle. Pass off into the slot. Spalding missed it. Wilson turned and tried to spin a shot towards the goal. That comes back to the point. Another backhander hits traffic in front. Sabres look tired here trying to defend this push by Nashville. Yossi, far point, plays it down to the corner. Wilson shielding the puck. Nobody at the point except Weber here at the near side. Weber's shot. That is gloved down by Nathan Lewin. And he'll hold on. We have three seconds to go in the second period. Don't miss color analyst Rob Ray on WGR 550. The former Sabre takes you inside the locker room, gives you a player's view. Well, he joins Shope on the Bulldog game days at four on the home of the Buffalo Sabres, WGR Sports Radio 550. Now well, Henrik Talinder battling in front, down low, just trying to tie up his man just to prevent him from getting his stick on the puck. And that's all you got to do. You just got to make it hard on him. You just can't give him anything. And right there, he tried making a leg save and almost put it right back into his own net. Sabres win the draw. That'll do it for the second period. That faceoff was in the Buffalo zone. And... Good start to this period for Buffalo as Rasmus Ristolainen picked up his second of the year. And well, then Shea Weber said, no, you don't. I'll put in my second of the night. No, you're right. And the Sabres only gave up six shots that period. They gave up one goal to go along with it. Generated 14 of their own. But you're right. They did come out with a little more intensity, a little more drive and desire in this second period. Started winning a few battles. But the big thing started gaining some zone time in the offensive zone, getting the puck to the net and some creating chances from it. They just got to learn, go back in there, hey, do a lot more of the same thing and try to come out of this game with something positive here in the third. Try to feel good about yourself in the third period. Rasmus Ristolainen's second of the year, assisted by Johan Larson, his second assist of the season, and Brian Flynn, the Sabres' only goal of this night. Nashville Predators, five, Buffalo one. Ryan Duff leads us through the second intermission in a moment. The message was clearly sent between periods to pick up the pace, and Buffalo came out with it to start period number two, the Larson line. That is with Flynn and Conacher tonight, a new trio, and Conacher does some good work getting in front of Carter Hutton. Larson draws a helper in his return, and Rasmus Ristolainen back with the big club, scoring his second NHL goal. So Buffalo was down by 4-1 at that point, but when you give Shea Weber this much time, he'll become a 20-goal man for the second time in his career. The captain for the Preds has two tonight, and he's all smiles as Nashville leads 5-1. to one. Your Vane Treatment Center summary. Visit them online at veinsveinsveins.com. Predators uh, nearly 2-1 to one ratio when it comes to scoring chances. The hits were in Buffalo's side. Power plays earned by the Predators. Definitely an advantage there, and they've gone one for three. But you see Ristolainen doing the scoring, and from a Nashville standpoint, that first period was highlighted by two Predators scoring their first NHL goals. As for the Corsi number, it gets much better than it was after one, and you're sitting there wondering, well, this looks a little surprising. It shouldn't be, because the Corsi rating is most relative when the game is even or close, and obviously after the first, it was anything but, and what typically happens is when teams have a multi-goal lead, they tend to back off, and the other team pushes back in a responsible way, which Buffalo did to their credit. They're now up to 19 shots in the game, and as mentioned, that first 10 minutes of the period, they certainly looked like a team that was determined to make amends for a tough start to say the least once again if you missed it billy lano didn't see action in that second period he was officially given credit for two shifts in the first the second one lasted only nine seconds and the sabers pr staff telling us that he does have an upper body injury and will not return for the rest of the game let's uh, remind you to join us for the lexus post game report and right now period three with dan and rob brian thank you very much rasmus first and you have to think there's a fantastic career ahead for him He'll make up what he can with his skill. And this man, Shea Weber, he comes in. He now has 1,608 shots. at 77th among all-time defensemen just for shots. You go to the leader of that category, a guy by the name of Ray Bork. And the number will certainly stagger you. But Shea Weber, you got to think, he's got a long career ahead of him. Yeah, Nashville tonight, 9 of their 21 shots on goal were by defensemen. Weber, 5. Nashville from left to right with a shot right on. And Nathan Lewin makes a save. By the way, that Ray Bork number for his career. 6,206 shots. Nathan Lewin has Did come in. Did you know that Brad May turned him inside out? 
And that that goal that Brad May turned Ray Bork yeah. inside out made Brad May a folk hero. Listen, we found that out when we know it in Buffalo. We find it out in Vancouver. What a hero he is. Yes, and yet to this day has he thanked Rick Jenneret for doing that. That's the kind of person Brad May is. You know is. what? I find that hard to believe. Very soft. I've got to stick up for him here. I find that very hard to believe. Sabres in their own end trying to break out off the right boards. D'Agostini can't risk the line and will bank a pass. Here's Cody Hodgson chasing after it. There'll be no icing on the play as Cody picks up the puck under the goal line in the Nashville zone. Coming down is Erhoff with a shot in traffic in front. The form of DeLaurier comes back to DeLaurier in a backhand shot. Save is made by Carter Hutton. Back to the line again. Another shot hits traffic in front. Loose puck. Hutton diving out forward to try to corral it, but the Predators tip it out to center ice. Fisher will put it deep into the Buffalo zone. Nashville will change. Sabres will do the same. Just underway. Third period, 5-1 Nashville. Larson has picked up his second assist of this NHL season. Takes a shot off the far boards from the hash marks, and that's easily handled by Carter Hutton. For the team to get the best possible result, it requires hard work, talent, and passion. Let our team at Salino Barnes help you get the best possible result. Face off Larson against Colin Wilson. Wilson for the Predators wins the draw. Clearing attempt knocked down on the blue line. And then Buffalo sent back into their own end. And an icing call coming up here against the Sabres. Who will return home after this game. And Saturday play host to the Tampa Lightning. Dominic Hasek going into the Hall of Fame that night. Big night for him, for the people of Buffalo. Stafford on the draw. In the Nashville zone, Tyler Ennis picks up the loose puck and comes to the front of the net. Puck comes all the way here to the near boards. Ennis turns and fires and with Stafford in front. That puck takes a deflection and the faceoff will come outside the zone. Yeah, Drew in front of the net there. He just takes a swipe with the puck when it comes to the front. And it looks like he catches it on the heel of his stick. It does. It's reflected up and over the glass with this line. They've done an awful lot of good things on this road trip. They've been spectacular. Tonight they've been bit a little bit. All three guys in the line are minus three to this point, but they've still continued to create good chances, handle the puck well, and by far be the most productive offensively for this team. Mike Weber sends it back into the Buffalo zone cross sites and McBain's pass off the stick of Felino. He'll chase after it. Out to play it. Comes up the boards near side. Left wing for Buffalo. Pinching down is Mike Weber against the boards. Nashville will try it on the other side. Roman Yossi will turn away from the pressure. And how about Roman Yossi, the 23-year-old out there with Shea Weber every shift. You think of the ice time Shea Weber gets. Number 59 better be up to it. And so far this year he has. Coming into this game, 33 points and three power play goals. Sabres with a long shoot-in from just outside the blue line. Kloon tips it in behind the net. Eckholm trying to get away from the forecheck as the Sabres down deep is Matt Ellis along with Johan Larson. Larson getting a ton of ice time here tonight. He certainly earned it with the way he is playing. Ryan Ellis will lift it into the Buffalo zone. Far corner bouncing puck. Bloom gets it. Centers. Larson is here to break it up. Sabres have the puck inside their own end. John Scott sends a rink wide pass off the boards for Ellis. He'll tip it out shy of center. Comes right back into the Buffalo end again. Now up the boards for John Scott. Left wing with a tip just ahead of the blue line. John will go to the bench. Agostini onto the ice. Along with Cody Hudson, as Nashville try to work the puck under their own end. Delzato from the near corner sends a pass cross ice. Colton Sissons makes his way over center, shoots it into the Buffalo zone, delayed offside. Sabres with the puck. Pass here on the near boards, left wing side, and taken into the zone by D'Agostini. At the blue line from his knees, will put it under the goal line. Cody Hodgson turns free, tries to center, and that one is knocked away. Predators. Get the puck out to center where Chad Ruedel has it, plays it ahead. Delorier just tips it off the right wing boards. And the Predators from behind the roll net will start it out with Delzano ahead the Yarn Crook. Up to center. Pass off for Craig Smith. He'll put it deep in the Buffalo zone. Played in the far corner where Ennis lays it up the boards to the hash marks. Right wing side. Sent behind the Buffalo goal again by Drew Stafford. Sabres will bring it up ice. This time on the left wing. 
Shot in by Stafford. That one went off of Shea Weber who gets back up. Stafford trying to wrap around far side. Button stops that one at the post. Sabres keep it in. McBain with a shot and that hits traffic in front. Back come the Predators up to center. It's Hornquist in over the line with the drop pass. There's a shot fired wide of Lewin who covers up at the far post. Puck comes back to the point. Ellis plays it to the top of the circle, right side. Matt Cullen trying to work his way down to the goal line. Stick check by Tyler Ennis. Marcus Foligno carries to center. Ahead to Ennis. He'll backhand one in and head to the Buffalo bench. Foligno stays on under the four check. Ryan Ellis, who had three assists in his last two games played, coming into this one tonight. On a bit of a points roll himself. He's got the puck now, just in over the line, taking a return pass. His shot through his block. Predators for the right wing. Back to the far point. Shot stopped by Lewin. Crystal Lining got a piece of it. Can't clear it past Colin Wilson. Now in behind the Buffalo goal. Airhoff. Pass up ahead, looking for Conacher to tip it outside the line. He was run into by Ellis. Another shot stopped by Lewin. Now in behind the net. Ref around attempt. Lewin got the pad there, but we've got a penalty coming up on the play. Interference call now Wilson. From pushing and shoving in front of the Buffalo goal. And they're still going at it. Yeah, Johan Larson gave a shot to Wilson after the referee made the penalty call. You're seeing Wilson here going to the box. And it happened right in front of the Buffalo goaltender. See everybody in front knocks down. Johan Larson, as he's coming to the front of the net, the referee made that call. And Larson gave him a little poke when he got up. This is for good measure. So the Sabres going back on the power play. Buffalo 0 for 1, one shot only on their first power play. Sorry, partner Cody Hudson with the puck now right off the faceoff. Hasn't fired the puck yet. Now he steps into one of that one is blocked and that is going to hurt. As Roman Yossi got in the way of that shot by Cody Hudson. Up play down in the near corner. Hodgson with it again. Up top, Ristolainen. Pass far side, one timer wide of the goal. Comes rocketing back out to Hodgson here on the left wing. Top of the circle. Sends it down low. Looking in front of Stafford for Ennis to the far post. And they just missed connecting on that one. Puck is chipped outside the line and into the Buffalo end. Nashville will change it up. Sabres. Power play now to center. Ristolainen slides to the right wing and he'll shoot it in. Watch for Ristolainen to pinch down and engage himself offensively on this power play. One of his strengths in his game, and the puck jumps up over the glass. It will result in a faceoff outside the Nashville Blue Line. Well, Dan, the most important person in the Sabres organization right now, that man right there, head athletic trainer Timmy Matry. He is the guy who has a job that is 24-7, and with everybody going down these days, everybody injured, it's not just throw a nice bag on it, hey, come back tomorrow. This man, especially on the road, deals with these guys all day long, all night. He's there for them. And it's not a matter of just going, hey, here, do this yourself. He makes sure at night, goes to the hotel, the middle of the night, does what he has to do to make sure these guys are up and ready to go. So give him an awful lot of credit for the time and effort he has to put in. Uh, that's a great point. And the entire support staff and the hockey operations, the guys that travel and do all that work, once we get off a plane, they're at the rink right away until the wee hours of the morning. And we land in the wee hours, getting the gear ready for all the players. And they go through this season as well, too. And they feel it. And they, you're right. They put the same work in every day, every night, no matter what. And, you know, when a player walks away from the rink, he can shut his mind off and he can just worry about next day of practice. These guys can't. Sabres power play with 37 seconds to go. They gain the Nashville zone. McBain at the far point. Rista Lyman. Not on the ice here is a chance for Delore on the power play. His shot is blocked. McBain against the boards near side. Into the circle. D'Agostini drags a puck to the net. Loose puck in front. Marcus Foligno on a chance at the far post. Back to the ice. Couldn't get it towards the net. Delore back after it. 14 seconds remaining. In this Buffalo power play. They trail it 5-1 to one with 12.48 to go. Third period. Delore with the long shoot in. Carter Hutton out to play it. Eckholm can't clear, plays it to the far corner. Stafford back to the point, back to even strength as Wilson's out of the box and the puck clears up over the mesh. 
So Sabres can't capitalize on that power play. They trail to 5-1 to one with 12.34 to go in the third. Sabres don't lead on the scoreboard, but they are out hitting Nashville 11-5 to five in our Karuba collision of the game. Little John Fisher right there against the boards by Nicholas Delorier on Mike Fisher of the Nashville Predators. That's our Karuba collision. Make the right decision. Insist on Karuba collision. The official collision repair centers of the Buffalo Sabres. Carter Hutton in net for the Predators tonight. Faced 25 shots. He'll look to his left with his face off in the Nashville zone. Drew Stafford on the draw against Matt Cullen. And Cullen came in with those high face off numbers. Wins the face off from the puck back to the Buffalo Blue Line. Quick backhand pass to center. Finds Tyler Ennis. Sabres game the zone. Here's a shot off the right wing. Blocker save. Loose puck side of the net. Stafford's got it. Tries a wraparound attempt. And diving out to cover up is Hutton. John Scott out with this line on this shift. Going to the front of the net. Now you're right, John. Just going to the front of the net. That's where you want him to go. And Ennis and Stafford. They're going to be the ones that hang on to the puck. And right here, Drew Stafford gets it. Tries the wraparound. But a nice job by Hutton getting post to post. He was there waiting for Drew. But also Tyler Ennis in a position right there where he could have moved the puck for the shot. Either way, a good opportunity. Sabres win the draw in the Nashville zone. Play down the boards, left wing side. Ennis under the goal line now for Stafford. Being watched by Fisher, who takes the puck away. And the Predators will bring it up. The left wing into the Buffalo zone, too far for Hornfist. Sabres get it back again. John Scott, far circle in his own end. Cross ice pass to the near boards, left wing. And to Linder looking for Ennis. Missed the pass, but Ennis will go to the bench after the puck settles in the Nashville zone. And it's played up ice by Yossi, too far for Hornfist. Far boards now in the Buffalo zone. Ristolainen trying to clear. Cullen underneath the goal line. Falls down behind the net with the leader watching him. Predators play it back to the line. And it's just tipped out by Corey Conacher. 11.30 to go in this third period. Matt Hackett made the start. Played 20 minutes. And after four goals got past him. Nathan Lewin came in to tend the nets since then. Predators have scored one more 5-1 Nashville. Predators from their own end of the ice. Up now to center. Right wing side bouncing puck. Weber comes over to seal it off. Against Stolberg. Way down under the goal line now for McBain. Spalling trying to dig it loose. Puck comes to the side of the net. Nathan Lewin gets that big left hand glove out there. He'll hold on. Now we talked about how important Tim Macker, the head trainer, was for this hockey team. We're right there. That man is his left and his right arm. Bob Mowry. He's an also the guy that's going to look after all these guys when they're banged up. They put in a ton of hours. Bobby and Tim are an excellent combination together. Face off to the left of Lewin. Hodgson lost the draw. Sissons won at that time, and it's back to Ellis near point. Winds and fires in Lewin. One thing we've seen from Nathan Lewin is he's awful confident with that glove hand. Yeah, he likes to use it. He's a big guy, and everybody talks about it, big man covering the net, but he likes to get down on his knees, too. And when he's down, he's, his, his body is so tall that he covers up the, uh, the upper side of the net, and he's able to get his arms up, and most of the time, his catching glove to make that save. Bloom works the puck down the boards, right wing side, back to the point. Shot goes off of Sissons, and now the Sabres transition to center with Cody Hudson. Get over the line. Left wing side, drops it back to the point, bouncing puck. Erhoff, good job just to keep it in, but his shoot in to go deep is off a skate. And now Ellis will bring it to the Buffalo line, but Nashville is a good foot offside as they gain the zone. Now the flow into this hockey game. It's kind of gone. The Sabres are turning it up here, but they're trying to make something happen. They're generating something. Let's see Teddy Nolan here, John Scott going back out on the line with Drew Stafford, Tyler Ennis. But Nashville being up 5-1, they've not quite as aggressive as they were in the first period and part of the second. Sort of sitting back, protecting their house right now. Yossi will fire it in from the right side of center for Nashville. And that is whistled down and will come back outside the line. Outside the Buffalo blue line, that is. Nashville hasn't played well at home of late, so this is a, a blessing for them. Not good for the Sabres, but... Nashville has any hopes of getting back into the playoff picture. They had to improve their home record. 1-6-1 at home in their past eight. 
We'll see Weber on the back end again. That puck is tipped on the Nashville side of center into the Buffalo bench. They're going to face it off at center ice. Yeah, even by winning this game here tonight, there's still one game under 500 at home. And you want to think that, uh, you know, we always talk about the home ice advantage and everything. And when you can't win those games and you struggle, winning at home, it really puts you behind the eight ball to try to gain any room. Face off on its center. Tyler Ennis will be waved out. Nashville wins the draw. Weber about four feet inside his own blue line. Sends a pass cross side. He'll take the return. Give it right back over the left side for Yossi. He'll fire it in. Lewin out to get a piece of it. Puck comes to the boards near side. The article can't handle it. Puck played behind the Buffalo net. Ruido under pressure. And Greg Smith still in behind the Buffalo goal. To lead her down there with Ruido. John Scott as well down low trying to help out defensively. Puck comes to the far circle, bounces around the slot, and John Scott will tip it ahead. Bruce Stafford carries in, down the right circle, pass off, Ennis fires it high, had a wide open net. John Scott in front off his skate, couple of hacks at it, and Carter Hutton will cover up. Well, that's the kind of night it's been for the Buffalo Sabres. Ennis with a chance to get their second of the night. It stays 5-1, Nashville in the third. Both trails Nashville 5-1 here with 9.21 left in this third period. Tyler Ennis gets himself in a great scoring position right here, but it goes off the heel of Shea Weber's skate. Just as it comes up, it just catches the heel of his right skate and up and over the glass into the Nashing. Face off to the right now of Carter Hutton. And Johan Larson lost that draw to Colton Sissons on that occasion. Bloom at the Nashville Blue Line lost the pass out and the Sabres Back in their own end, Mike Weber. Buffalo from right to left in this third period with nine minutes and five seconds to go. Trail at five to one. Shoot it into the Nashville zone. Larson after it near corner. Ilzana with a hit. Larson goes down. Flynn after it now behind the net. He's sealed off. Sissons plays it up the board far side. Where Eric Nystrom tries to bank it out but can't. Loose puck in the slot. Delzato there first to pick it up for Nashville. Plays it to the far corner. Puck set up outside the zone. And now tip back to center ice where it's lifted into the Buffalo zone by Sissons. He'll go to the Nashville bench. Sabres deep in the road in. Corey Conacher tips it ahead. Lifted in by Larson. Deep in the Nashville territory. Eckholm. Buck lifted out to center. Knocked down, but this could be trouble for Buffalo. Wilson racing after it. Almost drove towards the net. Lost it. And now back the other way and trying to find his way around Eckholm is D'Agostini. Now the puck comes to the front of the net and Deloria couldn't get to it. Nashville race back into the Buffalo zone down on the far side. Cutting into the net with a backhand. And that one goes high and the net comes off as Victor Stolberg drove towards Nathan Lewin. Good seats are still available for the Buffalo Bandits next home game. That is Saturday, April 5th. They'll take on the Calgary Roughnecks at First Niagara Center. Tickets available. Call 1-888-223-6000 or visit bandits.com. Yeah, Victor Stolberg had a great head of steam up. Caught Rasmus Fritz the line and just a little bit flat-footed, and he wasn't able to catch up to him. He was able to get in behind him for a great opportunity on goal. Face off one by Fisher. Back to the point. Weber shot. Stopped by Nathan Lewin. I'm going to take a chance to say happy birthday to the owner of the Buffalo Sabres, Mr. Pagula, celebrating his birthday today. And on a day that back in 1990, Mike Felino recorded his 500th point as a member of the Buffalo Sabres in a 6-5 win at Detroit against the Red Wings. Face off again. Fisher in on the draw. And that one will do over again. Eight minutes and one second to go in the third. Once again, John Scott taking Marcus Foligno's position here on the Stafford Ennis line. Back to the line, Weber will just tip it. Matt Cullen, right wing circle, walks it and fires, and Lewin down on the knees, like you said, Rob, but still able to get a piece of that puck. He's so tall. Like you say, when he is down, his head is still above the crossbar, and he's able to protect the upper side of the net so well. Cullen tips it in deep in the Buffalo zone again. 5-1 Nashville. John Scott, backhand pass off the boards. And the Sabres now will carry it in over the line. Here's a shot that deflects. And Drew Stafford has it again. Far post centers in front. John Scott in the slot. Backhand doesn't get through it. Horkvist has it. Bank pass off the boards. Cullen left wing. Sends it deep into the Buffalo zone. And Nashville, even taking their time on line changes right now. 
With seven minutes and 15 seconds to go in the third period. Mike Weber, deep in the Buffalo end. Right on the goal line with a pass out in front. Marcus Foligno. Back onto the ice with Ellis and Flynn. Foligno carries up through center. Makes his way to the line, lost the puck. Predators quick back the other way. Here's Smith with a shot. Lewin bouncing puck. Got a piece of it, and then it just bounced ahead of him. Eventually steered to the far corner. Weber with it now for the Sabres. He'll send a pass up through center. Matt Ellis wrists one in to the Nashville end. Puck to the far boards. Against the boards, Foligno. Battling there against Bork. Puck comes free to the line. Weber shot in right on. Carter Hutton makes the save. Buffalo did have some traffic going to the net there with 6.32 oh, to go. Yeah, these guys haven't seen a shift in a while here. Like I said, Mark Spino was taken off the Anna Stafford line, put on John, Spot, John Scott's position with Flynn and Ellis. And that was their first shift in an awful long time. They were able to get the puck into the zone, get the puck to the net. Face-off. No yeah, face-off will be to the left of Carter Hutton. Sabres goaltenders, and there's been, as we mentioned, five of them throughout the year. They've combined for a 921 team save percentage. And Given all the comings and goings and injuries. Certainly respectable numbers. Ryan Miller and Jonas Enroth doing a bulk of the work at the beginning of the season. And now it's up to Matt Hackett and Nathan Lewin to hold the fort here seemingly. Well, certainly most of the stretch. We'll have to see what happens with the likes of Michael Neubert. And Jonas Enroth, whether he gets another game in before the end of the season. Head coach Ted Nolan today did say he didn't want to write the possibility of that happening off altogether. Sabres. Well, you'd like to see both those guys get back in the net, yeah. you know, before it's over with. So at least they can get the game or so under their belt before the season does end. There's to line in the Nashville zone against the boards. Left wing side trying to keep it deep. Sissons wins it back for the Predators, who will take their time now. Again, finishing up a line change. And Nashville retreats behind their own net with 5 minutes and 37 seconds to go in this period. Sabres had that one real good shift in the first, and ever since then it's been all Nashville, who this time are offside on the play as they try to gain the Buffalo zone. 5-1 Nashville, they're in control with 5.29 to go here in the third. Well, the Sabres since the end of the first period, shots on goal 24-14 in favor of Buffalo. Shots attempted 41-21 in favor of Buffalo. So yes, they have turned it up a little bit offensively, created more opportunity, and got more involved since the end of that first period, but just still not enough. Being down 5-1 here with 5.29 left. Stafford, Ellis, and Scott the line for Buffalo with a faceoff just outside the Buffalo zone over on Nashville's left wing. Draw one by Mike Fisher, and it's fired in the Buffalo zone, and it rings all the way around. And this will go the length of the ice. And the faceoff will come back down into the Buffalo end. Sometimes you have to wonder why when the puck's going down the ice like this, you know it's going to be icing. Why don't you just stop? Stand there. Wait for the whistle to go. Save your energy as much as possible. Someone's talking to John from the Nashville bench, and John paying attention to that. He'll line up for the faceoff. On the inside of the circle draw one of the Buffaloes owned by Nashville. There's a shot by Weber looking for number three. He fired that one wide. Well, Scott knocks it down out at center ice. No high stick in the play, but he can't control the puck. Predators have it back again in their own zone. Quick pass up the boards, left wing side, Ruido for Buffalo in his own end. Now Tyler Ennis, left wing, over the Nashville line, turns towards the net, takes the shot right into the glove of Carter Hutton. Tough angle, and John Scott says, how you doing? I'm going to stand here for a moment. Well, it's good. He knows his spot. He's gone there all night long. Every time he's got into the offensive zone, bang, he's gone right to the front of the net. When you're playing with Stafford and Ennis, it's the best place and only place for you to go. You don't want to be somewhere where they're going to be looking to give you the puck. You want to be causing as much havoc as you can in front and let them play with it. Let them find a way to get it to the front of the net. And hopefully you can be the distraction they need. Face off one by Buffalo in the Nashville zone. Weber's shot goes well wide. Clune on the far boards for Nashville. Puck comes into the faceoff top. Taken by the Predators. Pass ahead for Sissons is knocked down. Corey Conacher far circle. Right wing side, short drop pass for Brian Flynn. Not a lot of room for Brian to do much with it. Comes back to Weber with a shot from the point, well wide. 
McBain steps into one, and Carter Hutton, good positioning to make the save once again. And the 30th shot on net for the Buffalo Sabres. It's not always the goaltenders that make the big save, and our ton of big save today, courtesy of a man who has two goals, and this big save, Shea Weber on Tyler Ennis, right off the edge of the skate, just that last kick of the foot. And what looked like an open net chance for Tyler Ennis was taken away that quickly by this man, Shea Weber. Sabres off the draw, trying to keep the puck in over at the far boards right in front of the Nashville bench. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go third period. Buffalo trailing 5-1. Reaching for it, Larson, right wing boards. Kicking at it, over comes Conacher to help out. Flynn in traffic on the far boards, can't keep it in. Three on two for Nashville the other way. Jamie McBain backing up along with Weber. Here's a pass back in the slot. And Lewin might have got a piece of that, but Spalling Right on the doorstep with that chance for Nashville. Weber near corner of the Buffalo end. Sends it up ice. Conacher with a kicking motion to that puck out to center. Looking for D'Agostini. Lost his stick reaching around Gabriel Bork. And the Predators again take the puck deep in their own end so they can orchestrate the rest of this line change. Ryan Ellis. Pass off to the left and now the Predators gain center. And in over the line. Pass back to the point by Yarnko, intercepted. Play along the boards, far side, kept in far point, Nashville. Pass back to the line, and that drifts out to center. Ellis backing up inside his own zone, rink wide pass. Bork gains his own, just the line, it stays on him. Couple of bangs, Greg Smith down against the boards as well. Ristolainen wins the battle for the puck. Sabres rookie defenseman takes a hit, plays it for Erhoff behind the goal. He'll leave where D'Agostini picks up the puck ahead to Delorier at center. Had it knocked away from him. Yarnkroke sends it back into the Buffalo zone, and now Delorier left wing and over the Nashville line, takes the shot, and Carter Hutton had nobody around him, and he's well out to see that shot all the way to make the save. Hey, give him credit. He's had a nice game here tonight. He's been tested a few times, but he's out for the challenge. Carter Hutton, he's got a 16, 11, and 4 record in 36 games with 274 goals against average. 905 save percentage. It's nice when you're able to give your big guy a break. Tucker Rene has battled injury. And you got a guy that you're able to slide in there here and there just to give the opportunity to play and be responsible and good. It takes an awful lot of pressure off your number one guy. Ruido pinching down, trying to keep the puck deep. Ennis got his stick on it. Predators come up with it, though, and it's set up ice. And Hornquist, left wing and over the Buffalo line, has Fisher with him, bounces one towards the net. And listen right into the glove of Nathan Lewin. Uh, you like to see Nathan Lewin. He's getting the opportunity. He's doing a nice job. He's only give up one goal here so far since he came in in relief, but he's done a pretty good job of managing the game, you know, keeping the puck moving when he has to, freezing when he needs to. But it's good to see him, his head up, he's realizing what's going on, and he looks like he's had some pretty good communication with his defenseman. Not the only goaltender to give up a slap shot goal to Shea Weber, that's for sure. Off the faceoff, Buffalo. Tip back at their own end by Marcus Foligno as he was coming up the left wing. So we'll try it again. Foligno this time with a tip into the Nashville zone. Hutton out to play it. Turns to his forehand, lifts it up the boards, gets past Weber, and now a race for it. Here's Nystrom over the Buffalo line. Right circle, fires one off the crossbar, and that one deflects. Faceoff will stay in. We'll see where they're going to drop the puck before we see it. I think it's going to stay in the Buffalo zone. Now two on one situation here. Man right in the middle. That's Larson driving back. Does a nice job getting back, trying to eliminate the pass. And right there, when the shot was taken, right up up the bar and up and over. You see it coming in there, right hits the corner, right at the top of the post and where the crossbar meet. Predators win the draw, Wilson behind the net. Working from the near corner, trying to spin off the check of Erhoff. Ristolainen knocks him down, no penalty, as Ristolainen even looked up to the ref after that. It's cleared down into the Nashville zone. Colin Wilson's a guy at four points in three games played against Buffalo. Sabres haven't seen the Predators a whole lot. 17 times his team's in that. Wilson behind the net, centers in front. Lewin keeps the pad down. Oh, what a stop by Nathan Lewin. Patrick Hornquist. 
Outweighted by Nathan Lewin. You see Lewin with his legs. Look wide open here and he's going to be able to come across. And we talk about how big his body is when he's down like that and he's still able to get those long arms out and that big body coming across to perfect, prevent from going in, protect the net. That works to your advantage. The little guy's not able to do that. He's not going to get across like that and he's not going to be as big as what he looked there. Gabriel Bork with a shot, Lewin makes a save. You can tell because that pad got there, you, you can see Hornquist wanted to pull it around and in the net. That's yeah, it he made him, him hesitate a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he hesitated because he couldn't do what he wanted to do, and it bought him enough time with those big pads laying on the ice like that to get his body over there with his arms and gloves to make it even more difficult. Sabres on the draw on their own end. Talinder comes up with it. One minute and 18 seconds to go. In period number three, it's slid down into the Nashville zone. John Scott takes a look as he takes a hit, plays it up the boards. Far side, Ruedel sends it towards the front of the net. And the Predators, Craig Smith, with a short touch pass, and Yark Hook will bring it to the Buffalo line and in. Stop there as he got about five feet inside the Buffalo zone. Ennis carries to the Nashville line and offside. Buffalo, 56.7 seconds to go in the third. Well, Sabres can't wait to get home. No, you're right. And it's been a long trip. And it hasn't been a great trip. But when they get home, they got a lot of work to do. There's no time, really. you got a game uh, coming up on Saturday. And then you got one on the first at home against New Jersey and then back on the road again. So it's not going to get any easier for Ted Nolan and his team right now. Predators off the faceoff. Nystrom in the Buffalo zone. Plays it down low. Clue. Sends a pass to the slot. Lewin, big save, but it gets past him. Looks like he had it at first, but it gets by him, and it sets the sixth goal for Nashville tonight with 39 seconds to go in this hockey game. I think it tricked him a little bit. He thought this puck was going to come in a little harder than what it was. And that Nysum did get all of this puck, and you're going to see it. And when Lewin comes across, he lunges. He lunges for this puck, but by the time he gets there, the puck's not there yet. Because it was coming in so slow and it just handcuffed him a little bit and found its way underneath his arm and in. Yeah, it looks like he just got a piece of it right yeah. on the arm and off the leg. Sabres send it into the Nashville zone with 20 seconds remaining in this hockey game. 6-1 Predators. Well, when this road trip started, here's Delore with a shot. Big glove save. Carter Hutton puts an exclamation mark on this one for Nashville as Nick Delore was seeking his first in the NHL. Icing on the play. Time ran off the clock a little bit, but there will be no argument for the Buffalo bench tonight. Now, it doesn't matter the score in the hockey game. If you got an opportunity to get your first NHL goal. Now Delore engaging with Delzato. And the players gather around. This is the second time in this trip near the end of the game we've seen players gather around and maybe something could erupt. And we'll yeah, see what it, happens here. At some point, it, it should erupt. It needs to erupt. But it's not going to happen here again tonight. Right here, you're going to see Delorier just gets himself out in that sweet area. Nobody around. Takes the shot. But a big save. Preventing Deloria from getting his first. Base off will be in the Nashville zone. 1.6 seconds showing on the clock. John Scott is on the ice with Cody Hodgson, D'Agostini. Yeah, as you say, Dan, you just think night to night tonight. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You think some at some point there's going to be an explosion. Well, you wouldn't think it happened with Cody Hodgson on the ice. No, ears. no, you're not. And it's just uh, just one of those things that you, you can talk about. But they saw the scene to come through. Yeah, over to the left of John Scott directing traffic out there to the defense where he needs him to go. Nashville with the player in the penalty box, and the draw comes right back. Well, that horn could not have come soon enough. The Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, it was a tough night, Dan. Early in this hockey game, the Sabres were not 
ready to play in this hockey game. Got themselves into a hole very early, not able to get out of it. Yes, there was some positives in the second and third period. They're able to generate some shots, some opportunities, but still like to see them be a lot more aggressive, especially when they're down. Just kind of showing that, hey, I'm here, I'm upset, I don't like it. But just too little too late here tonight. And as far as everybody involved, it'll be a nice plane ride home just to get home and maybe regroup before Saturday night facing the Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, the Sabres will go back home. Dominic Hasek will be honored that night. And, you know, for that reason, there will be some energy in the building. People coming to thank Dominic for everything that he did and everything he meant to the franchise. So it'll be a special night on Saturday. We'll see if the players respond with a special effort. 6-1 the final. And for the details and the rest of your postgame show, here's Brian Duff.